Welcome back to River City Live. I am here with Jess Gawson of Blonde and Blonic, a local influencer who's going to give us some River City style tips. Now, Jess, thank you so much for joining us on the show today. Yeah, thank you so much for having me, Jan. I'm so excited. So what we're going to be doing today is talking about how to create a capsule wardrobe and what that is. So when I saw your page, I wanted you to come in because it seemed like you had some really great pieces that you continuously restyled to kind of keep things fun, trendy, but not necessarily break the bank. So break down what you have for us here. Definitely. I've brought a selection of different things. Obviously, thinking of fall in Florida, we have to keep things light, more neutral colors, uh, lighter fabric. So I have some lighter outerwear, some core bottoms, different jeans, um, some neutral dresses, and then some tank tops and light sweaters. So a nice little mix here. Yes, and a capsule wardrobe is basically bringing a limited amount of pieces and really going into that mix and match. So if you packed all of this in a suitcase, for example, what is an example of an outfit you would pull out? So a core piece I would always travel with, especially in the cooler fall months, would be a blazer. This is super trending right now, especially longer length, more oversized fit. You can pair this, especially a powdered one, with any kind of neutral bottom. So jeans, leggings for a travel outfit. You could wear this with some neutral faux leather pants and over a dress as well so there's a lot of ways to mix and match it. So in terms of shopping for a capsule wardrobe because that's also the key too. I know that I fall into the category I have a lot of like accent pieces and a lot of really show-stopping pieces that don't go with anything else like I can wear that thing and then I'm like this goes with nothing. Yeah. <laughs> but at the time it gave me the serotonin I wanted so I bought it. Right. So when people are shopping what do you recommend they look for to De build up a capsule wardrobe? Definitely some good staple basics. You're never going to go wrong with a good blazer or with a nice like white shirt dress or a white button down. It's always attractive to go for the crazy patterns but also try to stick to your personal style and having like a good beige, black, white bodysuit or top you're always going to reach for that and mix and match it with anything that you own. Now, you were kind enough to share some of these images with me, so I put them together so that people could see some of your sample outfits. Now, talk to us about your Instagram and the tips that you share there. Yeah, I like to really make it a blend of chic but affordable style. Um, I'm definitely more of a preppy kind of girly style <laughs> dressing, as you can tell by some of the pictures, but I really like to make it universal for everyone so it fits budgets. And I try to do daily outfit inspiration and keep it fresh too. Yeah, and you, and you always do. That's literally how we got connected, but I was like, oh, this, I was like, I love this girl's outfits. And yeah. one thing I wanted to point out too, shoes are always the thing that weighs me down the most when I'm packing. And yes. you actually styled all of these items with just two pairs of shoes. Yes. Yes, definitely. So again, neutrals, I think that's the theme here, but having a great neutral color tone palette that you can match everything with. So in Florida, you know, tall boots may not always be appropriate, so some ankle boots are perfect, and going for some mules, so we're not always doing open-toed in the later months, and that way it's just seamless, fits, classic with everything. Awesome. Well, Jess, thank you so much for joining us today on River City Live and giving us the deep dive into how to build a capsule wardrobe. Make sure you're following her on Blonde and Blonic for more style tips. Mark?